Hello, my name is David Larson, KK4WW Amateur Radio Operator. I've been a ham radio operator for nearly 59 years now. We're located today at N4USA here in Floyd, Virginia, the Floyd Community Amateur Radio Station. We're talking about antenna tuners, and today we want to talk about the Harvey Wells Z-Match. This antenna tuner was made in the 50s, so this goes back quite a ways. I think you'll enjoy seeing the inside of this antenna tuner. So let's uh, take a look inside and see what it looks like. 1950s Harvey Wells Bandmaster Z-Match. Let's take a look at some of the controls on this. Actually down here we have a uh, switch for setting up the different power levels that you would read up here on the SWR meter or watt meter. And over here, pretty simple. You can hook it up to the dummy load, to the coupler, or directly to the antenna. The controls are two uh, capacitors. They're on veneers. And uh, op very nice operating veneers. So these are your only tuning controls right here. So this, this, this unit operates on a little different principle. This is not the T-match arrangement. This is a tuned tank circuit with inductive coupling. So let's take a look inside the unit. It now the back uh, connections are pretty straightforward also. Here's your 50 ohm uh, input from the transmitter. And if you're hooking up a 50 ohm antenna load, you took it up here, the coax. If you're using twin lead, you hook it up here for the high impedance and the low impedance and your ground connection. So those are the connections. The dummy load is inside. We're going to take a look at that in just a minute. So let's, uh, let's look inside this unit a little bit. Like I said, this is a tuned tank circuit. These make up the tank circuit. The outer coils are your inductive couplings. And, and your capacitors over here for tuning. And here's the, this capacitor. You've got two capacitor banks for tuning. And that's all the tuning. This, is, this unit will tune an input from 50 ohms input to the output impedance of 50 ohms, uh, perhaps a little less to about 2,500 ohms. It's not a T match. <clears throat> it's a tuned tank circuit with inductive coupling here off the tank circuit. Of course, here's your meter for reading power. And down here you see some calibrating resistors for calibrating the power meter. We need to take a look underneath to see um, the rest of that circuitry. Well, looking underneath, here's your switch for adjusting the uh, power on the SWR, or really it's a power meter. And this is the band switch for, or the switch I should say, for connecting between the dummy load, direct input and output. And your circuitry for the bridge is underneath here. Now look at the size of this dummy load. <clears throat> you don't see this uh, on most of the current antenna tuners. This is a fairly high power, high wattage resistor, 50 ohm resistor. That'll handle quite a bit of power for a little while. So this is underneath. It's a steel chassis, not aluminum, built uh, very sturdily. Well, here's the Harvey Wells Bandmaster antenna tuner designed in the 50s, about 65 years ago. On the left side we see the SWR meter, or power meter, for measuring forward and reflected power. These switching arrangements over here uh, switch in different uh, power readings on the, on the meter itself. So this is the SWR, or power meter, uh, circuitry here. Dummy load off here, our 550 ohm dummy load. Connected down here goes straight to the output, bypassing the tuner. And over here goes to the tank circuit. This is a 
They call it a Z-match tank circuit with a high frequency output and a low frequency output. Shorter leads here on the high frequency output than the low frequency output. Thank you so much for watching our video. Happy hamming and have a nice day.